Brian Early, field agronomist in North Central Indiana here today to talk about seed treatments as we get later in planting. That is a common question we get as soils warm up and things get delayed. Do I still need my full treatment package that I had planned on back in the winter? Well, the answer to that is in most cases, yes. As the soil warms up, it is true that you will have lesser uh, pressure from diseases like Pythium and Phytophthora, which we usually fight in soybeans, but diseases like Rhizoctonia often step to the forefront and we can have issues with them that the fungicide part of your seed treatment will pick up as well. Uh, one other avenue I wanted to examine on seed treatments and late planting is uh, Alevo. If you had been planning to put Alevo on your beans for either for sudden death or soybean cyst nematode, I would still plan on that treatment. And one of the reasons why is these winter annuals that are across many of these fields can harbor cyst nematodes. This purple plant here, purple dead nettle, uh, is probably one of the biggest hosts for soybean cyst nematodes. In fact, there was some greenhouse work done that showed that the soybean cyst nematodes were actually able to reproduce on the roots of this plant just as fast as they were soybean roots. Uh, you get plants over here like this chickweed and things like henbit are also pretty good hosts for cyst nematodes as well. So if I was planting a, a nematode or an olivo application back in the winter time, I would definitely stick with that, especially when we know that uh, we're getting issues with the PI88788 genetic resistance that we've used. Uh, these weeds on top of that uh, lesser activity with 88788 really brings the, the need for Olivo to the forefront. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.